Hey broskies, what's up? It's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be doing a uh, art YouTubers I'd win against in a fight tier list. God damn it, my ad block isn't working on this site. I have compiled a bunch of random YouTuber artists that I know. There's also a lot that I don't know. So if you don't see like your favorite YouTuber artist on here, I am not sorry. I actually don't watch that many of them, but for the ones I do know, I put on here. If you have any YouTuber artist recommendations that are on here that I should totally watch, please leave them in the comments. First up, we got Crazed Cake. Uh, Crazed Cake is an animation meme maker. Last time I checked, their art style is super cute and their animations are really cool. I cannot animate for the life of me, but uh, I don't know, something tells me about their buddy character that they'd uh, they'd probably beat me up. They usually look uh, pretty angry. I feel like this bunny would beat me to a pulp. So I'll put them in S tier. Oh, wait a minute. I, I forgot to explain the tiers. We're already off to a great start. Okay, this is for people who could totally beat me, blah, 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 blah. And then D is for people who I could beat up in a fight. Anyways, next up we got Drawing with, drawing with Jazza. Is that his name? <laughs> look at this, guys short OC. Look at how big his head is. Look at how short and tiny he is. I would crush him. Going in D tier. Okay, next up we got Ditus. I've actually been compared to Ditus many times because apparently, according to a lot of people, our avatars look really similar because we got like the same hat. Once someone actually compared me to this drawing of him in this thumbnail and I was really offended. But uh, judging by his profile picture, he looks kind of like a wimp. So I think I'd beat him and also there's only one person who can have this hat, and that is me. Put him in D tier. His animations are really cool though. Really funny guy. We got Domix. I actually haven't watched this dude in a long time. He makes story time animations. His videos are really cool, but this profile picture is kind of freaking me out. His eyes are pitch black. They're just soulless. Feels like this man is gonna slaughter me at any minute. I'm gonna put him in S tier. Those eyes are kind of freaking me out. Ooh, next we got Polar Cub, AKA Danny. I've actually done a few collabs with her. One on my channel, one on her channel. She is such a good artist. I love her art style so much. It's so cute. She also does the thumbnails for Flamingo and she's really, really good at it. I'm just gonna put Danny in the middle because I would never want to harm her. So I'm just gonna put it on neutral. She's too sweet. Next up, oh my God. Okay, this is actually one of my biggest inspirations for art of all time. This is Lavender Town. She inspires me so much. I've watched like almost all of her videos. I remember I used to watch them on repeat all the time. Her art style is so, so cute. I love it so much. I think it's really unique. She makes a lot of speed paint videos and like art tips and stuff. She also inspired me a lot to do my own speed paint videos and I just love her so much. She's definitely one of my favorite artists ever. As for her personality, she's actually really, really sweet and she talks really softly in her videos. I definitely don't think she's a fighter type, but I would never hurt her. I would let her beat me up. So I'm going to put her in S tier. Dude, you're such a fan girl. <laughs> All right, next up, we got Christopher Hart. <laughs> this actually, I don't really know if he counts as an art YouTuber. All I know is that he makes those uh, how to draw anime and manga books. I used to buy a few of those when I was a beginner artist and I didn't know where to start. Some of them are kind of iffy, but some of them are also kind of good. I can't say I really use them a whole lot. I mainly just like to look at them because they looked nice, but he's cool. I'm just gonna put him a B tier. Next up, Ginger Pale, Storytime animator. Love his art style. Art is super colorful. Looks really cool. Do I really need to say much more though. Look at how tiny he is. I could crush him and stomp him with my foot. Jaden Animation. Another story time animator. I'm sure like everyone watching this knows who Jaden is. Really cool and funny videos. Oh come on. Look at this profile picture. Does she look like she can fight anyone? No. I would win 100%. Emmy Ruchu. I think that's how you pronounce her name. This is another art YouTuber I really love a lot. She makes uh, story time animations but she also does collabs with other people like uh, Ditus and this one dude called Sea Dog. They make a lot of art collaboration videos and they're so so funny and entertaining to watch. I love her art style. I love it so so much. I mean she's literally mentioned in one of her videos that she's not the fighting type but since I'm a huge fan of her and she also seems really sweet I wouldn't want to beat her up either so uh, I'm gonna put her in the middle. Oh my god there's a lot of story type animators on here. Okay Jelly Jet. Her videos are cool and her art is cute. Honestly I wouldn't want to beat her up either. She seems really sweet. I'm just gonna put her in B tier. Uh, oh Casey Golden. From what I can remember for the most part she makes like traditional painting art and her art style is actually really really unique and I haven't really seen anything like it. She paints with a lot of like watercolors and stuff. Really cute and unique uh, cartoony style. Uh, however she has actually done a challenge where she painted with literal blood before. That kind of gives me some you know uh, some not very good vibes if you know what I'm saying because it, it, it might be someone else's. She would murder me 100% I'm gonna put her in S tier. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's this? Why is Santa Claus on this list? Hold up. I actually forgot who this guy's name is. Well, yeah, Le 
Leonardo da Vinci. Oh wait, he's the dude who made the Mona Lisa. Yeah, but he's also dead. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. So obviously he cannot beat me in a fight. What a loser. Okay, this person is one of the first art YouTubers that I watched. Her name is Leslie Mary. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. I have no clue. But she used to make a lot of fire alpaca tutorials. That was like one of the first art programs that I use. It's free. I use Clip Studio now, but I've always been a huge fan of her art style and she has really cool characters. She seems really sweet, but I also feel like she's definitely the type who if they get mad, they can really do some damage. So I guess I'll go ahead and put her in the A tier. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We got the famous odd ones out here. Okay, story time animator. Literally no need for an explanation. This guy is a freaking marshmallow. So if he were in a fight with me, he would get roasted. I'm just gonna put him in detail. Ooh, paintless pajamas. I love this person's art style so, so much. Like seriously, look at how amazing her art looks. The thumbnails are so eye-catching. I honestly think they deserve so much more views and subscribers than they have. I definitely say their art style is one of my favorites. And on top of that, their story time animation are really entertaining. They definitely seem to have more of a uh, tough persona in their videos, so I feel like they could definitely beat me in a fight. Uh, Next up, we got uh, Lanky Box. Uh, Lanky Box is really, really bad at art, so I'm just gonna put them on D tier. Ooh, next we got Sir Palo. Okay, I used to watch Sir Palo all the time. His videos are, are just hilarious. They're so funny. My favorite series he makes is definitely the Moki Mouse series. Literally one of the funniest guys on YouTube. He would beat me in a fight 100% because all he would have to do is scream in my eardrum and I would collapse and die. I'll put him in S. Next up, we got Pablo Picasso, aka one of the most famous artists of all time for some reason. D tier. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this person is Hong. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. They make a lot of really, really cute animations of couples just being lovey-dovey with each other. And it's really just calming and relaxing to watch. I honestly really recommend their channel if you're into that kind of stuff. Just listening to the music and watching their nice animations is so soothing. It's like therapy. Yeah, I would never beat this person up. I would never be able to forgive myself. Right, next up, we got Surfluff. They make animation memes. And their art style is really cool and really cute. And they animate really good. Good. And a lot of their OCs are very violent, so I feel like they would kill me, so they're going in S tier. Up next is Storytime Animator Scribble Juice. Okay, honestly, hands down, I think Scribble Juice is by far the most entertaining Storytime Animator out there. I think her videos are a lot different, and they just have this sort of charm to it where it's just so funny and like meme I guess you could say, and it's just so genuine. They just have this very natural humor that I don't get from any other Storytime Animator. Uh, would she be able to beat me up? Hell yeah, I'm gonna put her in S tier. Whoa, who's this? Oh, uh, I don't know who this is. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, I actually forgot Bruh. who this person is too. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry. I'm sure this person was really cool, but I literally forgot their name. I'm just gonna put them in B tier. Ooh, Squizzy! Squizzy is so, so funny. Uh, Squizzy basically makes these animation memes, but it's not like those things where the furries have bopping heads to like a song. It's like actual, like actual meme video. Videos based on funny memes. I don't know why I'm explaining it like this. Definitely not kid friendly though. Uh, their character is like, I think it's a Fennec or something. Thing, yeah, their character is like really small and tiny, but I don't know why there's just something so unsettling about it <laughs> Like this scares me. I just feel like this thing could murder me S tier last but not least drawing with Waffles? That's literally how she spells it. Really clever. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched her a whole lot, but all I know is that I really like her art style. Gets a B tier from me, and that is my art YouTubers I'd win against in a fight tier list. I hope you broskies enjoyed this video. So, in conclusion, these are people that would beat me to a pulp. This is people that would beat me up pretty good. This is people that I don't really want to beat up. And also, I forgot who this is. And then this is people who I could die. Let me know your thoughts on this video, and give me suggestions for art youtubers that i should totally watch that weren't in this video because i definitely need to watch more uh subscribe or leonardo da vinci will be under your bed tonight okay bye